Hi everyone and um, welcome. My name is uh, Mary and I am the CEO of Bamboozer. Um, I'm going to talk and give you a better, deeper understanding of, of course, what we are doing and a little bit right now that is called live video shopping. So before I go into the presentation, I just want to give you a background. So retail is undergoing the biggest change and transformation in modern time, I would say. And why is that? So it's due, what we believe is due to the digitalization, the new customer behavior, the new buying patterns, and of course, the COVID-19 stressing and making everything happen much more faster than we thought. Um, and of course, like I said, this change uh, came long before the COVID-19 and we decided uh, at Bamboozer two years ago when we looked at the e-commerce and the retail in industry uh, what to build on top of our technology, existing technology, we saw this trend that was then called live and is quite huge and big in China. So we started to develop on top of our existing, existing technology and we launched it not even actually one year ago. So what is the what is the, what is live video shopping? And um, so Bamboozer has been around since 2007. So we're not a new startup. We have been around for a couple of years. And uh, I, I believe the first mobile phone we actually did a mobile stream from was a Nokia 6630 or 33 that didn't even have um how to say um a frame to it um and we launched one year ago almost and within that year we have had uh, a great accelerator and growth uh, since our launch and uh, we are the market leading company in the western world uh, with our then live video shopping uh, product and technology and we work with some uh, world leading global retail customers as you see here to the right. Um, so going back to what I what I started to talk about the new landscape and how it looks and the new patterns buying behavior the new generations when we started two years ago looking at uh, this trend and, and the new behaviors in retail we saw two things that popped up a little bit more than everything else. The first was the, the, the Gen, Gen Z um, consumers and, and looking at, at this as this target group, I mean, they are born with a smartphone um, everything they do in communication or entertainment or um, consumption of, of, uh, of reading or looking at things, it, it, it is live. So I think also if you want to reach this, this target group, you need to understand the behavior that they have uh, and they are also very interactive so everything they do is interactive they're not static i would say like the like the generations before like my generation i would say and and they are also growing a lot so i mean they're becoming a big part of the market share and i think a lot of larger companies or even smaller companies are trying to understand and figure out because you don't reach this you don't reach them in an ad so i think also you need to find ways and i think live video shopping is one way but there's also a lot of tons of other ways to reach to this consumer target that will be the future of of shopping and retail um, a little bit about china so the, the next big thing uh, except uh, the new generations that are coming and their buying patterns and their behaviors was then china so china for everybody that doesn't know uh, is the world's leading e-commerce market. So, I mean, they're by far leading the e-commerce game in the world. Uh, the Western world, quite we're quite far behind, I would say. Uh, myself was in Shanghai in December, and no, I was not the person taking a corona to, to Europe and the Western world, but I think just understanding, you know, the there's so much more digital and the behavior, we actually get a sense of that we're quite far behind in the Western world. Um, and this started back in China in 2015. And I know a lot of us in the Western world don't remember maybe SARS, but it was due to SARS actually that this trend started going when they had a lockdown. So I think like the same, we see the same behavior here in the Western world. And if you look at, 
at this year and the numbers that are that are expected to grow in China. So this year they're expecting that live video shopping will be then 20% of the total uh, e-commerce market in China, and that's worth almost 129 billion dollars. Uh, so so it, it's quite huge. I think last year it was around 9%. So you can just see how it's growing year over year and like being a very big part and chunk of of the of the of the e-commerce part in China. And I, I see also like there if you look at the Western world, we have fewer um fewer, I mean fewer companies that are doing this, but in China, of course, it's like too big that owns the market and, and one of them that's the, the biggest one is of course Alibaba and Tabao. Um, yes, yeah, so that, this was the two things that actually got us thinking and got us looking at this trend and, and, and better understanding. So um, how does it look and how does our solution work? So this is one of our customers, Showfields. Um, so what is live video shopping? A, a lot of people ask us, like, oh, is it a live stream? No, it's not a live stream. So, so what we then um, call live video shopping is actually a live stream with interactive, with a lot of interactivity. And in, uh, one interactivity could be that you can chat or that you can like or that you can put add something to cart and go to checkout. So I think like live video shopping is is an interactive dialogue or communication with the end customer on your own e-commerce site. So you live stream from a mobile phone. So you have the Bamboozer app to actually do the live stream. So you don't you don't use any professional cameras. You can do that if you want to. We don't have one single customer that has done that yet, but of course there's a possibility for that. But I think also looking at, at this trend, people like it when it's authentic and real and, and engaging. You don't want something that looks Photoshopped and looks like you know uh, something you see, an, a, a beautiful ad you see on TV. You like the authenticity, uh, authenticity in, in live video shopping. And like I said before, we have a lot of interactivity in the stream, so you can you can chat with the people, the influencer, the expert, the celebrity that are sitting and talking about a product. Um, you can then push the products, you can read more about them, you never have to leave the stream actually to look at the products. Uh, it's a branded experience, so Bamboozer is a business to business company, we're never shown, the, the end customer or consumer never sees Bamboozer in any kind of uh, dialogue. Um, and, and we really truly, when we started, wanted to empower the brands instead of having a YouTube player on your website or putting somebody else's player, why shouldn't you have your own player that's you know branded and feels like a native experience on your own e-commerce site. And then afterwards, when it's live, it becomes recorded and then you can also download the video and chat and you can put it up again and again. The only thing you can't do in a recorded show is then talk to somebody because of course there's nobody sitting on the other side so it's a recorded version so we have three components um, that we then that our customer uses to get the full experience so you have to have a broadcasting app and you download that on ios or android and then you're good to go so that is your camera and then we have a dashboard where you then create the events, you manage the users, you create the show, you drag and drop the products you're gonna show in the show, you moderate the chat and you highlight the products. And then you get, when you, when you click on create an event, you get a very small HTML code that you then put on your website. A lot of our customers, the day that they are live, they put it on their starting page. A lot of them still has it on the starting page or you then have in the menu somewhere where people know that I can find the live show. And then you embed that HTML code and then it pops up on uh, an iframe or a player then that is 100% customer branded where people then can interact and, and uh, talk to you during the show. Uh, one thing more I want to add, when you have added something to cart, you're in the native cart of the brand. So we don't either touch, the, touch any transactional data, any customer data, or uh, have anything to do with interference with end customers. So we just overlay an iPlayer and embed that and empower the brands once again to, to communicate, to get closer to the end customer, and then to own the transactional data and all the way to, to, to the buy button. 
So a lot of us, uh, a lot of people ask us and are curious, so what's the difference between Bamboozer or social media platforms? So uh, like I said before, we're a business to business company and not a business to consumer company. So we work, we don't work with the end customer and we're not out for building a, a Bamboozer brand uh, to the end customer. And then I would say like looking at all of the big Infra, I, I don't call them companies because they're infrastructure in the Western world like Instagram or Facebook or TikTok or whatever that is coming our way. I mean, they are out for being market leaders because everybody knows that, you know, ads are not working and everybody wants to get a cut of the transaction. That's, you know, the new thing. And, and I think like what you get there is a very standardized experience. You don't have all the interactivity that you can choose from within, you know, what you want to do. The video quality is not the best because everybody understands that it's quite expensive to send, you know, in great quality. You have limited support and it's on third party platforms. So it's, it's not on your own website or on your own platform. So with Bamboozer, we're really, really trying to, to really create that native brand experience. So it just feels like a very easy integrated and nicely solution. So the customer even don't understand that a player pops up. You have full control of a customer and trans like, transactional data. You have a very high video quality. And of course you can edit the video and put it up again and again, instead of it disappearing somewhere out of the, in the bloom. And then of course we have a creative and, and production support for all of our customers. So that's the very big difference um, between us and social media. So every, everybody likes uh, numbers, uh, so a little bit about our numbers and, and performance. So how does this perform? Um, so if you look at uh, some stats and data, and this, this stats and data is across all of our customers, all segments, all markets. So it's not a specific customer. So it can be very, very variable if you look at beauty or other segments. So this is for all of our customers. So you have the customer in the player in in average for 11 minutes. So I would say if you look at e-commerce and how long you actually have the customer's attention, I mean, this is by far much more engaging and, and you keep the customer really engaged and having them you know, three or four times longer than you usually have them on your website. The engagement levels are crazy. People, you know, they send a lot of hearts and they have a lot of questions. It's not always related to the product. I mean, most of the times it is, but it can be everything from, you know, how they look uh, at the um, sustainability in how they're shipping things or, you know, about brand questions. I mean, I think this is a very fun way. And I think also like a lot of our customers download the chat to just get the fit very, very direct feedback from the end customers because you get a lot of feedback and questions. So 26% of everybody in the show is actually chatting and asking questions or giving you love. And then we have an add to cart rate of 12%. And that's also very, very high if you look at e-commerce and, and add to cart rate. So, so that's a little bit about the performance so far. If you look at beauty, for example, the add to cart rate is around 36%. So it differs a lot depending on customer and, and I would say vertical. Our launch partner, uh, we had a lot of launch partners. One of them was Luisa Vioroma, and that's a multi-brand luxury store based in uh, um, Florence. And they have done a lot of different shows. They have worked with a lot of celebrities. So they have had everything from David Beckham to Barbara Strum to doing New York Fashion Week this year uh, before everything closed down. And they have really been using this as a great format to, to actually talk to the end consumer and really engage much more deeper with them. Um, if you look at, we have another customer, uh, Moda Perandi, that's based in the US and also working a lot with luxury. They have done really, really cool events with designers. I mean, Johanna Oritz, I think she was in Venezuela, somewhere in South America in her home doing, you know, a trunk show showing the coming pieces. It's really, I think really, really get into the deep with the people, with the designers, with the, you know, people who works in the companies. It's really, really amazing how you can connect with them. A little bit about the user journey and how it looks. So you enter a show, uh, this is Frame Denim, one of our other customers. You see the countdown and then you just click enter the show. You explore the products. When you talk about the product here down to the right, you can then, uh, to the left, sorry, you can then push them and then you can see the, you know, some more pictures and read more about the products and add them to cart. 
And uh, like I said, you add you add them to cart, and then you check out in the native cart. Um, so once again, it's a native experience. You have a branded design with your logo, color scheme, icon of iconography. It's customized welcome and thank you screen. You control everything, everything during, and it's also GDPR compliant. And once again, it's in the native card of the brand. Uh, some media mentions, of course, we have been uh, mentioned uh, a lot. I would say this is a trend that the Western world and the media are very interested in. So we have been in in, in some of um, uh, in uh, in some few pieces articles mentioned about the things that we're doing with our customers. And I want to end the presentation with a quote from Luisa Roma that that I that I love. We have a lot of quotes, but also like with the foundation believe that clients are looking for experience rather than just products. We strive to always be in the forefront and are very excited to launch live video shopping. And this is Nikolai, uh, CMO of Luisa Roma. And I think also going back to that, we see much more um, experimental or experience-based shopping than just ad-based or uh, search-based shopping. Um, so that was all for me. Thank you so much.